So as of the recording of this video, it's been nearly two weeks since the tragedy in Orlando with the nightclub shooting. Nearly two weeks since the senseless loss of human life took place. People are still trying to scramble for answers. People are still trying to put together this puzzle. People are still trying to figure out why it had to happen. Most people have empathy for the lives lost, the lives taken, and the families of the people grieving. I, for one, still can't wrap my head around how someone could do this to other people. That said, on the other hand, you have people. Really, I say people, but they're something not quite human, really. They're some form of fucking subhuman species, and I'm not quite sure what they are, under the guise of religious people, such as Pastor Stephen Anderson, the Westboro Baptist Church, Pat Robertson, all sorts of other miscellaneous fuckwits coming out of the woodwork and claiming that this nightclub shooting is the work of God and the wrath of God being enforced upon these lonely sodomites and so on and so forth. You see, Stephen Anderson's been a fucking loud one in regards to this. The little creepy punchable face heaven motherfucker took to Facebook, took to YouTube nearly as soon as the fucking tragedy happened. The bodies weren't even cold yet, and the piece of shit takes to social media crowing about how Oh, the upside to this is 50 disgusting pedophile sodomites have had their lives taken. This was God's work. Yes, because somehow there's an upside to a mass homicide, you fucking prick. You see, this is what makes me angry. People like Logan Ro excuse me, not Logan Robertson. Logan Robertson's a pastor we have over here who followed the teachings of this goon. He's essentially our low-rent version of Stephen Anderson. Stephen Anderson saying that this is God's work. This is the work of God. This is the penance of these sodomites. And so on and so forth. And I'd like to know where the fuck people like Stephen get off saying that this is God's work. That this is God's way. This is what God wanted. And then you get his little Muppet followers saying that Stephen is speaking the word of God and the rest of us are just bullies going against God. Okay, so your average Bible does say the occasional bit about sodomites being against God, God punish the sodomites, etc, etc. No, nowhere in the Bible does it call them pedophiles. Note that nowhere scientifically does homosexuality mean you are a pedophile. This is something these idiots of the cloth are pulling out of their ass to try and make these people seem like evil demons and make themselves seem like the children of God. So here's a question for you Muppets that claim that people like Stephen are correct. At what point did God bypass the other men of the cloth that don't preach bigotry, that don't preach hate, that don't preach intolerance? At what fucking point did God bypass them and speak directly to Stephen Anderson and say, Yo, Big Stevie, it's me, the big G funk master, telling you to lay down the knowledge on these suckers. You know, these guys that are preaching the love and tolerance are doing it wrong. You and the rest of these fucks stuck in 1855 are fucking all good to tell people that these sodomites are going to hell and that they're evil people and that they're no better than pedophiles. When did this conversation take place? Where did fucking Stephen get the right to say this shit? Where did Steven Anderson get the right to go off and say these things like he's the fucking voice of God? At what point did God speak to this motherfucker and tell him he had the right to say such things? And that there was an upside to some fucking nut going postal in a nightclub, killing a bunch of people for no other reason than he was upset about his own closet homosexuality. I'm fucking sick of this shit. I'm fucking sick of people like Stephen Anderson who claim to be religious and then spend their entire time condemning homosexuality like it's the worst sin the Bible mentions. Yes, I've been on this fucking rant before. Yes, I've said it before. And I'll continue saying it till I'm blue in the fucking face because it makes me fucking sick. People died that night. People lost their lives. These people's families are fucking suffering. But all people like Steven Anderson can think is, hey, how can I use this to my advantage and fucking link it to my own fucking homophobia? Steven Anderson has the audacity to call these people a bunch of sick pedophile perverts. Gee, someone's projecting. Like he has the fucking right to say this. Answer me something, idiots. Answer me something, people that follow this goofy fucking prick. Answer me, where in the Bible is there an asterisk next to the passage that says, Judge not lest ye be judged? 
Answer me, where's the asterisk next to the chapter that says, let he who is, at, who is without sin cast the first stone? Where is the asterisk in the Ten Commandments next to love thy brother? Where is the asterisk that says, love thy brother, judge not lest ye be judged, let he who is without sin cast the first stone, unless he is a homosexual, in which case, condemn him. Condemn him and treat him like the lowest piece of filth on the planet. Show me where in the fucking Bible it says that some alleged man of the cloth, yeah right, let's see that qualification, let, show me, where in the fucking Bible it says that anyone who is a man of the cloth has the right to suddenly forget the parts about loving and forgiveness if they don't believe in homosexuality, to then do a 180 and condemn them as being the worst scumbags on the face of the earth. And where's the part in the Bible where it says that these same men can use their position of power to spread their hate speech, to spread their bigotry, to spread their general fucking ignorance and stupidity to the masses? And show me where in the Bible it says that you morons are allowed to co-sign these fucking statements and act like everything they say is actually correct. Where the fuck does it say that the Bible allows you to use your homophobia as a weapon against a bunch of people who died for nothing? Where in the Bible does it say that you fucking scumbags have the right to disrespect the victims of the shooting and their families by claiming they are nothing but a bunch of scumbags? You do fucking not, because there is nothing, nothing in the Bible that says that you are allowed to judge and look down upon people based on their sexuality. And there is nothing in the Bible that says you are allowed to make light of a senseless tragedy like this to spread your disgusting, ignorant fucking homophobia because you are a bunch of closed-minded fucking bigots. It's disgusting. There is no room for this. There is no need for this. Nowhere does your God say in your little holy scripture that this is cool, that this is fucking to be done. Nowhere does he say that you are allowed to murder these people. What part of that shalt not kill you motherfuckers not understand? Steven Anderson is a bigoted piece of shit, and so are you people that follow him and tell him that he is in the right. You fucking idiots on Facebook that say that he is right, that we are a bunch of sodomite bullies because we don't agree with this fucking clown, are the ones in the wrong. These people died for no reason. They were out having a good time. They are people like you, like me. They are people nonetheless. They are people that were out having a good time. They were people expecting to have a fun night full of memories. At no point did it cross their mind, nor should it, that some nut with a gun was going to go ape shit in the club and take their lives. These people are dead and their families are suffering. And for Steven Anderson and his little Muppet fucking sheep followers to say this is a good thing, to claim there is an upside, to claim that the loss of human life is an upside, is absolutely fucking disgraceful. It's disrespectful to the victims, it's disrespectful to the victims' families, and it is an absolute disgrace that the sad excuse of a man is allowed to call himself a Christian minister. Because he embodies everything a Christian should not be. A bigoted, hate-filled scumbag who does nothing but spread the word of hate. Whether you're a Christian, whether you're not a Christian, whether you believe it or whether you don't, the Bible says in black and white that we should love one another. So where is the love from Stephen Anderson? Where is the love from the Westboro Baptist Church? I'm yet to see it. All I see from them is any chance they can get the spreading of homophobia and bigotry. They're not good people. Take the religion away, and they're still not good people. They're the worst kind of people. These people are intolerant, hate-filled, evil scumbags under the guise of people who are meant to lead and teach people. They're meant to teach people God's word, and they don't. Instead, what we have is a bunch of insecure, evil little piss ants using 50 people's deaths as a marketing plot. That's sick, and that's disgraceful. These people didn't deserve to die, and there is nothing good about their deaths. It's a tragedy. It's a senseless waste of human life that didn't need to happen. It shouldn't happen, it shouldn't have happened in the first place, 
and I hope it never happens again. And for anyone to say that this is a, a punishment of any sort from any higher power, or to use it as a political statement or a religious statement, is just disgusting and disrespectful. I feel for the victims, and I feel for the victims' families. And I hope they never have to go through this again, and I feel sorry for them for their loss. It's tragic, and that's all there is to it.